such a time as this. And welcome back to For Such a Time as This, the place where there is no such thing as a silent witness. Would love, would love, would love, would love for you, if you can, go to our webpage at for such a time as this dot today. For such a time as this dot today. There you can always keep up on our newest material as Big Brother continues to squeeze us on their a platform. All right. Oh. This woman here, Aruna Kilanani, get a good picture of her. This woman right here, this woman right here, this woman is crazy. She says she's a forensic psychiatrist and psycho psychoanalyst with expertise in violence and racism left academia, academic institutions because of racism, uncut word. This woman needs, she needs help. She needs help. She needs help. She, she needs help. She's not, she's not, she needs help. She needs help. Um, this has been out for some time. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but let's look at her when she was on the Lamont Hill show. I don't know what I think is black news or something, but Lamont Hill, this guy here, he's, he's pushing people like this. He's pushing this, this Dr. Aruna. Um, two clips. Here's the first one. This woman needs help. W would it be fair to say, based on your expertise, that white people are psychopathic? I, th I, I think so, yeah. I mean, I think that there's many lies that, and I had, didn't get to that part because what I've delivered was only um, part of a first series of talks. But the way, the level of lying that white people do that has started since col colonialism, we're just used to it. Hmm. Such what as every lies? time you... Sure. Every time that you um, you you steal a country, you loot, you say you've discovered something. I mean, this is this le this level of lies actually part of history. We don't say that we killed all these people. We got rid of all the Native Americans. We say we discovered America. You don't talk about the level of death. You don't talk about the level of what actually occurred. You wipe the, the slate clean, you sanitize the violence, and you actually got lost along the way. You're trying to go to India. And then you say you discovered something. And this level of, of discovery is everywhere. You've discovered vegetarianism. You know, you've discovered, you've discovered yoga. You've discovered everything is a discovery and it's all actually stolen. I don't understand how white liberals allow this to happen. This would never be done to African Americans, would never be done to Hispanics, but for somehow the white liberal accepts this. This is unbelievable to me. And one of the scriptures I will continue to play for all of those who are confused about this critical race theory and this white guilt and this white privilege, Ezekiel 18, it's one of the it's one of the scriptures in the Bible that forces you to choose who you're going to believe, the world or God. Ezekiel 18, 19, yet you say, why should not the son suffer for the iniquity of the father? When the son has done what is just and right and has been careful to observe all my statutes, he shall surely live. The soul who sins shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. You cannot blame, you cannot place guilt on white people for what their ancestors did. Here in Ezekiel 18, you can't even blame the son for what his father, his father, not, not great, 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 great grandfather, his father. You can't blame him 
for what his father does. Yet we live in a culture in which there's a different worldview in which people are blaming the white community for what their forefathers have done. You can't do that. The soul that sins shall be accountable for his actions. The soul that sins shall die. Not the sins of another. This woman who needs help goes on some more. What you're talking about at this point is a kind of macro level systemic structural kind of thing. But you're also trained to think about the psyche, which is about the individual at a certain level. Absolutely. To what extent can we say that individual white people are psychopathic or unhealthy or out of their minds? I'm using this language for those who are watching. I'm using this language based on what was in the speech and based on uh, other work that, that's been published. Uh, this isn't my necessarily my personal opinion. It's the analysis here. Do you think, uh, to what extent can we say that individual white people are this thing versus saying that there's a culture of theft, a culture of colonialism? And can we, and is there a useful distinction to be made between the two I think that I think people I think people, there is a useful distinction to be made. And on one level, yes, that's absolutely true. And, and you know, it's it's different than than actual um, individual psychopathy, the way that people conceive of it. On another level, when we are thinking about individual responsibility and how it is that people change, I think that using the words um, systemic and there's a culture operate defensively to not actually let yourself go into your own unconscious and go into those dark places of what you're actually doing. So I'm actually talking about it sort of as a defensive structure, like not acknowledging that on an individual level, I think can operate as a defense. So in so many words, you can use the word systemic and saying that it's a group, but let's not be deceived white people, the individual white person is psychopathic and evil and all types of devilish ghoulish <clears throat> she needs help she's not healthy this woman is not healthy and 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 and, and fine 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 she wants to to be crazy that's fine she can be a little touched in the head but you know who else touched in the head white liberals that allow this foolishness to continue because sooner or later you keep saying this and now you, you see it the, the, here's what's important with this video the seeds from moving to systemic the group to saying all the individuals in the group are responsible and psychopathic and evil th th that, that that's the bridge now that's the bridge and when you allow this to keep going on and you have these young um minority men who are not too healthy themselves when they start killing white people because they're white simply because they're white the white liberal will be aghast they will be confused they'll be they they, they will be ignorant they, they will claim ignorance saying why is this happening That woman is sick, but you know who else, who are her partners in crime now? The white liberals. This is crazy, and this critical race theory needs to stop now. Such a time as this 